Hi, Marauder Triss here with the Aftershocks Blues 2 headset review. These are a bone conduction wireless Bluetooth headset, which are a little bit different to other things you may find on the market. Now, the bone conduction works through these two pads here and here, and they actually sit just in front of your ears and not in them on the top of the jawbone. So you can still hear the music and ambient noise, such as traffic if you're out riding or colleagues talking to you at work. So, the fit of these are, are really good, and they're very light, so they don't really bobble around um, through being very weighty, and they have a very secure fit on your head. Uh, and as you can see, they are ergonomically designed to go around the ear, and they do put it in about the right position for you to be able to hear that music nice and crisp and clearly. Uh, you may have to sort of move these up and down on your head, uh, uh, things like that, just to try and get the sweet spot of the music. But once you're used to putting them on in the right spot, it's really not a problem. I've been using these for four months, and it didn't take me that long to get the hang of where to put these, uh, so you can hear your music nice and crisply. Uh, on that note, the audio quality is very good. Um, it's neutral, so it's neither trebly nor bassy. But that's a good thing because uh, you know, if, if it's too bassy, some people don't like that. Uh, if you're like me, I don't like too much treble in my music. So it's, it's a good sound quality, uh, very neutral and true to the original sound format. Let's go on to the functions of this. Uh, there is a multi-function button, and this is used to start and stop music, double tap for the next track, and various other features uh, that you can do as well. Uh, it should be noted you can't go back a track with these headsets, you can only go forwards. Um, and you can also do things like making uh, voice dialing calls, uh, and you can even use this for uh, a GPS. So if your phone has uh, features um, where it has audio, it will play that audio through here. Um, if it has voice command features, you can use those as well. One thing you can't do while on the move is make phone calls. And I'm more speaking for the cycling community. If you're out cycling at uh, 20 or 15 miles an hour or something like that, you're not going to be able to hear anyone and they're not going to be able to hear you because of the wind rush. But you can just pull over at the side of the road and tap on the side here to voice dial or press and hold to voice dial or to answer a call. You can just tap it once and tap again to end. It saves going through your pockets and getting out your phone, especially on a wet day. Because these are actually waterproof and sweatproof. And I sweat quite a lot and it doesn't rub when I sweat and it doesn't get slippery when I sweat either. So the other feature uh, or the other simple command buttons that they have is the volume control which is this bit here and the pairing and on off button it's very easy to pair you can pair it to multiple devices however if you've got like a phone like I do here and a computer over there uh, it will pick up on one or the other uh, so do try and make sure that you've got your Bluetooth switched off on one uh, and on on the one that you want to use it for the simple design of this headset um, allows you just to control the volume and the multifunction button to sort of start, stop and start is all this needs. It's really well thought out and it's a pleasure to use uh, on the fly. Uh, it makes sense having this down here when you're riding because they're actually going to be on your head like this. Uh, so if it was on the top you'd be feeling around like this. You'd be sort of feeling around up here and it's very natural just to use your thumb just for the volume there. And there is actually a small nipple on there. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'll try and get a bit of view on that. There we are, a little nipple just there. So you can feel for that if you're wearing mitts. And some gloves you can feel it through as well. Um, so it's very thought, well thought through. I would give these a 4 out of 5 if I gave them a rating. The positives are they're very light. They've got a long battery life. Uh, and this would do a whole day of riding. Uh, I would say 5-6 to six hours very easily. There's a whole solid day's riding if, if, if you're looking for that. The charge time is uh, 2 hours. Um, it may be slightly less I find. Um, than two hours, but two hours is, is about the benchmark there. One of the things that's a negative is the price. They are quite expensive. Uh, they're about 80 to 85 pounds, and uh, that might put some people off, which is why I'm doing it at four, because it can be a little bit expensive, but I do feel that uh, the quality of these and the functionality of these are, are really worth every penny. So thank you very much for watching my review. I do have a website now. It's Marauder Tris dot moonfruit dot com and uh, there you can find written reviews and uh, some news about what I'm up to and things of that nature and some musings that I, I just happen to be thinking about it is cycling related so if you're not into your cycling then you may want to pass by I also have 
a Facebook and a Twitter account as well where I upload cycling pictures and, and what I'm up to there as well and that's updated more often than my website although there is a Twitter feed on the website as well so if you've enjoyed this um, a like is always appreciated if you want to do that and if you have any questions I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have regarding this headset uh, so thank you very much for watching and have a great day